Here is our setup for measuring Brewster's angle. Over here we have our linear polarizer, followed by a quarter wave plate set at the angle to give us circularly polarized light. That's impinging on our prism over here, uh, made, of, made of glass. We use a, a, a prism where the two faces are in fact not parallel to each other. So as the light hits it, the reflection from the front surface goes off in a different direction from the reflection from the back surface so we can get a clean separation. We're, we're only interested in the reflection off the front surface of the prism here, not the back face. Uh, currently it's set up to send the reflection back, straight back where it came from in this direction at an angle of incidence at zero degrees. So I can read that off the scale here so I can tell how far I've rotated the prism. As I start rotating the prism, you can see on the screen over there, there's a reflection spot. And if I rotate it a little further, we can see, oh, this, there's, there's a second reflection from the back face. We want to concentrate on this one, on the reflection from the front face, and ignore the one off the back face there. And what we're interested in determining is, is this reflected light polarized in any way? We're sending in circularly polarized light where the, the electric field vector rotates continually in a circle as the light propagates, reflecting that off a glass plate, and I can use a, a linear polarizer mounted up like this to see if the light that's reflected, that's going onto the screen there, is polarized. And I can rotate the polarizer in the beam here, and we're not seeing any real change at this angle. I can go a little further over here and try it again and see not really any, any change there. All right. Now we're seeing the, the, the second spot as well, but we're just going to concentrate again on the, on the reflection from the front face. I put my polarizer in and see, well, all right, now it looks like there's at least partial polarization going on because the intensity of the spot is changing. Let me try a little further over here and again put the analyzer in. Oh, yes, it's, it's definitely polarized now. All right, so I'm just going to set this polarizer on the, on the tabletop now and continue rotating. And we can see very clearly that that spot has a, a position where it completely disappears and, and then it comes back again. Right, so something is, is going on right at this angle. There's definitely a minimum in intensity. Let me zero that as finely as I can right there. And I can read the angle that I've rotated this prism right now, and it comes out as 56 degrees. So something interesting is happening when I rotate that prism. The light hits it at an angle of 56 degrees. The reflected light comes off it, and it's completely polarized. My Polaroid over here is set to pass light in the horizontal direction, so that means it's blocking vertically polarized light. I put it the other way, we can see, indeed, the light is not blocked when the Polaroid is, the pass axis is vertical, but it's completely blocked when the pass axis is horizontal. So it's emitting the reflected light is now completely 100% polarized at this angle of 56 degrees. And that's Brewster's angle.